emphasize uh, uh, which of those four they want to elaborate more. First, what do your organizations or you do in uh, instances where your views, your movement's views and the positions on the question of land deals are very significantly different from what the ordinary villagers directly affected by these land deals have. So when you say, for example, that this is very bad, but the ordinary villagers directly affected by uh, the land deals say, this is really very good. So how, how do you reconcile that? How do you position yourself in that kind of thing? That's first. Second one is that the terrain of uh, CSOs at the local, national, international levels are very densely populated and they are very different for different reasons. Their class origins, ideologies, politics, organizational affiliations, sources of funds, many different other reasons. And for sure, uh, there are issues that unite and divide different CSOs uh, on this particular question. So, can you explain to us what are the important issues that unite and divide important CSOs around the issue of uh, global land grab? That's second. Third, within the UN family and the extended family of the UN system to include its relatives like the World Bank, there are three uh, basic propositions on how to tackle the issue of global land grabbing today. First, the right principles that uh, Klaus uh, explained to us yesterday and so has Paul Matthew. Two, the voluntary guidelines uh, being uh, led by oh, different uh, agencies too, but uh, most especially by IFAD and FAO. Third, uh, the minimum uh, human rights principles that uh, Olivier uh, has explained. H how do you look at these three propositions on how to address global land, gra land grabbing and how do you position your movement and network uh, within these uh, uh, three possible uh, options? And finally, we know that uh, the relationship between academic researchers and activists is marked by this uh, historical kind of love-hate relationship. There's always these tensions and synergies for different reasons. We come from very different uh, institutional starting points. We have very different objectives in doing our researches. We have different senses of what is urgent, what is not, and everything. So there are pure tensions and synergies. But our question today to you is that uh, with this uh, very large audience here of very important uh, academic researchers, uh, how do you see the ways forward to harness more of the synergies uh, uh, between activists and academics on the question of uh, research on global land grabbing? Who will uh, go first? Five minutes each and then we open the door. <laughs>